Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's a new week, and we're doing starting a new week of reviews here on Eddie Hill's Reviews. It is August 1st. I know this is just weird for me to start the day after I do a review, but I just wanted to do, do the new review for this week and get it up off my to-do list today. So it's time for another Eddie Hill review from the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's review time, people. And it is Transformers week. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Legacy Autobots Skids. And this is a brand new figure from the Legacy line. But before we look at Skids himself, this is based on the Generation 1 Skids in both vehicle mode and bot mode. Transformers Legacy, Autobot Skids, Takara Tomy Generations. That's the packaging. And then we got more box artwork. We got Blaster, Bulkhead from Prime. Good old RC from Prime and Hot Rod, which I do have him. Nice product shot of Skids in his robot mode, and his weapons can combine to form a Super Blaster, which is kind of cool. You get this weird Autobot-coded thing. I don't know what that's about. If you know, then leave me a comment, because I don't know what the thing is with that box now. Hasbro... And some nice artwork of Autobot Skids in his robot mode, ready to defend Cybertron. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. And Skids rolls very well. But before I get down to transformation, we're going to talk about them. Well, Skids appeared in the original Generation 1 cartoon in his vehicle mode. But other than that, he didn't get any appearance in his robot mode, which is real shame. And yeah, he can store the weapons in vehicle mode. But that's all there is to say for Skid's bio. So let's get down to transforming him, shall we? Let's. First, we're going to disconnect his legs, flip out the doors, rotate them down. Flip in these panels, and there we got the legs all done. Flip up the arms like so. Second verse, just like the first. Fold this down. Come on. Come on, Skids. Work with me here. Work with me, Skids. And there we got his body all done. Flip down his arms like so. And he got, got the nice wheel arm, split his legs, and there we got Skids in his robot mode and ready to do battle against the Decepticons. Skids gets these two weapons that are optional. We can also put them in their G1 comparison for Skids. Have him having a double blaster like his G1 toy on his arm. And a single blaster, so he can go blast, blast the Decepticons. Go pew, pew, bang, bang. And you can give him an Energon axe, so he can go chop, chop with the axe. Chop, chop. But there's one thing we're going to do, because this is the gimmick for this figure. We're going to do the Super Blaster. The Super Energon Blaster. That's what I'm calling it, and I think that's what it's called on the box. So, connect the guns like so. Put the blade like this, if I can get it to peg in easy. And there we got the Super Blaster. The Super Energon Blaster. And he is ready to go save the day. And he can blast away multiple Decepticons. Energon Blast! Pew. And I couldn't help but make that pew noise because, man, that is a sick-looking weapon. 
and I don't have any other comparisons to compare him to. So that's probably going to be it for him. Articulation, bend at the knee, which is nice. You get ankle tilt. Get some ankle tilt out of it, which is nice. And I forgot the wheels flip into his feet so he can get some ankle tilt so he can get some good climactic poses. Look at that. He's ready for battle. Arms are on a hinge, which is nice. Arms can do a full 360 at the joint, which is nice. You can go punch, punch, one punch. So a lot of posability in this Legacy figure. Would I recommend a Transformers Legacy Skids to any of my fellow Transformers collectors, if there are any, on my channel right now? Yes, he is worth 20 bucks if you can get him for 20 bucks. And he is going to look good on my shelf with my other G1 Autobots. I love this figure in hand. And I'm so glad to finally add a missing member of the Generation 1 cast to my Transformers collection. And I got this from, from eBay, I think, for 20 bucks. I highly recommend this guy. He is going to look nice on your shelf, and he's better than the IDW skid. He looks more G1 and more better looking. So that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.